This is Twit. How are the phones that we talk about all the time selling, you may wonder? You may ask yourself, you'd be sitting there bored, you're like, how are the phones that all about Android talk all about all the time? How are they selling, self? And then you look it up and you realize that IDC's Francisco Geronimo actually tweeted out about the Pixel device shipments, uh, saying that the, the shipment numbers doubled in 2017. So in the year 2017, doubled over what they were able to do uh, the year prior with the first generation Pixel devices, although I think this counts all Pixel devices, not just first generation, but also second generation. So doubling your sales in a year, no small feat, very commendable, but they doubled to around 3.9 million units, which is not very much, particularly when you consider that the market size is around 1.5 billion. And a lot of sites reminded us that Apple definitely sold way more, way more iPhones. Well, yeah, they, yeah, they were quick to, to point that out. Um, I mean, but are they on, are, are these different, different categories yes. entirely? I mean, yes. Google's ramping up its hardware or are, or are we making excuses right now for Google? It's, what, uh, what do you think, Stephen? Yeah. I Historically for the next devices, I was always uh, one of the first people to jump out and say that they're different categories. But in this case, Google's trying to go up head to toe, sorry, toe to toe with, um, with the, with the fruit top company. phones out there with the S <laughs> eight, with the iPhone. But it's their first yeah. year. Their second year. It's, but this is for the well, first yeah, year. Okay, okay, yeah, I guess it's their okay. first year and marketing and brand recognition and Samsung. It's a different, it, it's a completely different atmosphere out there than what Apple had to start with in 2007. Like yeah, it's, time, it's a different their, journey. At the same time, it's their second phone company that they're buying with their uh, I, I can't remember how many total devices uh, for Nexus plus Pixel plus the um, other branded ones plus the Android One phones. They've been heavily involved in quite a few phones and they're putting out a premium price, priced phone and it's a fantastic phone, but it's not selling quite the same level. And it's not like they're not advertising either. They have True. They plastered Young and Bloor uh, subway station, one of the busiest subway stations in North America, with ads top to bottom, which is not cheap. Right. And it's still four million phones. Yeah. But they did, they did really ramp up their advertising, I will, I will say. I've seen a lot of Google yes. advertising. Listen, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think we can... <laughs> compare apples to apples on this because yeah. <laughs> I see a very different, no, I completely agree with Steven, but I also see a very different trajectory for our dear Google here. I think, um, I, I don't think that the, the phones thing matters to them. I think the ecosystem of hardware is what's going to be the, the big premise of the marketing spiels. It's not going to be like buy our phone. It's going to be like, you can buy our phone and have it be a part of this ecosystem, but we really want you to buy our smart speakers and we really want you to buy our TV dongles and we really want you to buy all these little things to kind of, we really want you to buy our Nest cameras. Um, it's it's all going to be just selling of the ecosystem. And I think in a couple of years, that's going to be what we're going to be comparing. Not so much like phone numbers, but you know, how many people are subscribed, ascribed, subscribed, whatever, to one particular ecosystem, yeah. whether it be Absolutely. Apple, Amazon, or Google. At the same time, the ecosystem itself is also falling a little short right now. I mean, yeah. they're not bad devices either, but at the same time, the, um, I mean, the, the clip camera or clips clip. Yeah, the Google. I pre-ordered one and it's Google coming. Clips. It's coming. It's, it's Oh, it's coming in a week and a half. Oh, nice. You just reminded me. Keep going. Sorry. It's, it's interesting, but <laughs> it's it's also pretty expensive for a point and shoot camera. I you got the uh, the earphones, which are they're nice, but for the price, are they the best out there? It's true. Uh, do they have the best integration out there for the price? <laughs> and it it's, seems to be a trend right now. They're it feels like they they have all these things that are almost at the level they need to be, mm -hmm. but they're not progressing forward. They just keep being at that almost level because everyone else is also going up along with them. Yeah. Well, and as someone, uh, I think it was Wade County said in the chat room, the market is so matured at this point. It's hard for right. anyone to come in and expect even 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 a company as gigantic as Google. 
uh, maybe to expect to come in and be able to go toe to toe with Samsung or Apple. I like head to toe, by the way. I think we need to. <laughs> no, I do. Head to head, toe to toe. Uh, and also along these lines, Essential, we have Essential. IDC also reports yes. 88,000 units sold in Essential's first six months on the market. So that first, well you know, done. that last half of, of last year, 88,000. Andy Rubin did say that this would be a slow ramp up. The numbers, you know, don't aren't necessarily astronomical. 88,000 devices in and of itself is not a lot. But is it? But then, you know, they're a startup. Is that high for a startup? A newcomer onto the scene? Nobody knows their their brand. Well, shoot, we should compare this to, anyone to Nextbit. Else. Then for, the Nextbit, the Robin. Nextbit, RIP. Yep. Oh. Nextbit's the one to compare to. I mean. Yeah. They're not high sales numbers, but at the same time, the right. device is nice, um, not even for the price, just in general. It yeah. feels great in the hand. It looks great. It runs extremely smoothly. Uh, camera's lacking, but it's catching up with the, as they improve the software. I, I, I mean, it's not the best phone on the market, but it's not the worst of anything for the price either. Yeah. It's especially not, now, uh, yeah. how much it costs. Yeah. Especially now. <laughs> Uh, and what's interesting is they're really targeting the ads quite heavily, I've noticed. Like, I, I've seen a metric, just a ton of ads on Twitter and stuff for Essential. More ads than anything else over the past couple of weeks. You know, I've seen a good a number of, of ads on Twitter as well. And actually, one of them really cracked me up because it was this guy. It was this guy sitting with his Essential phone uh, on, with this, like, huge, vast city view behind him. And you could tell that they were using probably another essential phone to do the background blurring thing mm. and to separate or whatever, and maybe to show off the example the the example of that quality. The problem was on the left side of his face it was blurry, and on the right side of his face it was sharp. And I meant to tweet out about it because it was really like, really you didn't catch that like. However you did the blurring thing, you missed one side or whatever you used to do that totally missed one side. So you can even just kind of kick it through Photoshop. Yeah, like little, even if like, it was through Photoshop, tool. they <laughs> missed that <laughs> layer. They forgot no, the I'd, layer. I'd much rather see an ad that shows the camera True. that like, like doesn't quite show the camera at its best yeah. than see them using like an SLR instead. Totally. You mean instead of the press photos that usually get put on the phones? Um, so <laughs> no, this is an actual picture. It's yes. like, no, it's not. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and we've seen that a lot this year, oddly. Uh, there's been a couple. I, I know, um, what was the really big one? Um, or it's not this year, but in the past like 365 days, what was the really big one that got caught uh, using a point and shoot or an SLR instead. I know there I think, was one sometime did, in the last Nokia year. Have one? I, I, I think I can't remember who would it was, but I do remember hearing about that. Uh, I, I think it's been like two in the past year. Was it the P9? No. Was it? maybe it was yeah. Huawei P9. Oh, uh, no, okay. From Thank Petapixel, Petapixel Huawei mm -hmm. slammed for implying a DSLR photo was shot with the P9. Uh, July fifth, twenty sixteen. There we go. It was the day after our nation's birthday. Nice, <laughs> nice but, memory on I mean, that, Stephen. <laughs> no, but it, it's it's not something new for them. But at the same time, it's yeah, great. It's a nice picture. I can grab my SLR and go take a nice picture yeah. as well. But it, that's not what I'm buying the camera, the um, the phone for. Right. I want it to be a nice phone picture. I want it to be as good as I can get from a phone. I don't want to see oh, this is an SLR picture that this might might be able to take something like as they layer claims. Yeah. It's useless. So we should just stuff. just take all your pictures with a Pixel 2. Done. <laughs> it's a nice camera. What phone are you using right now, Steve? Yeah. Um, I'm actually testing the Essential at the moment. Oh, um, nice. So I'm working through that. Um, I, I actually don't have any Bluetooth headsets, so it's a little bit of a pain that way for me. But um, other than that, it's one of the nicest phones I've held. Embrace the dongle life, Stephen. Just embrace it. I have, and you know what? I'm happy. I'm a happy woman.